Oh my god, that thing's crazy, bro. bro that's bro. crazy. Oh! No way, bro! And for those of you guys who missed the last video, this is a 540. We actually ended up copying for my boy Erlan. It's an absolute dream spec for the 540 people. And this thing, honestly, it's pretty mint other than the fact that it's got a lot of cosmetic issues, especially considering that one of the mechanical issues, the rear suspension, is preventing it from actually driving. So uh, in this video, guys, we're actually going to be trying to restore this car and make it drivable so he can enjoy it. And at the same time, bring back a legendary V8 manual back to life. And like I said in the last video guys, there's some builds you guys don't know about and some builds you guys know about. This is the build you guys know about. And this one right here is the 540i we ended up picking up for parts for our main 540i. This was actually in pretty good condition, but it is an automatic, it is a salvage title, and it has the beige interior. So it was just all like stuff we didn't really want to deal with. But in terms of like the body and everything else, it was in really good shape. Uh, the nice things this one had is it had a low mileage, 94,000 94, mileage engine in there. Um, it has the shadow line trim around the doors. Again, all body panels in perfect shape. It had a perfectly good working radio, which ours did not. It also had a perfect exhaust on there had a muffler delete it had catalytic converters primary and secondary we need the secondary cats to pass smog so that really worked out for us um, we actually got a matching set of wheels from this car as well for our main 540 and then this one has the m sport wheel as well and not only does it have the m sport wheel but it also has the m sport front bumper um, which we're going to be actually flipping because we already have that on our main 540 so yeah we're actually taking all this stuff to my house so we can get it all installed we're actually dropping the rear end of this car it's the main reason we actually got this donor car um this rear end on Honestly, is in perfect condition again it's low mileage compared to ours um, so we're really happy about that and actually technically this is an upgrade as well because the m5 uses the same differential the same gear ratios as an automatic 540 um, so technically putting this into our uh, 540i that's a manual is going to be just a little bit of an upgrade to help it with performance and stuff like that so that is also a win so we're pretty much gonna be using this whole rear end we're just taking out the diff right now to make it a lot easier to carry um, but then we're gonna end up reassembling all at my place So now that we pretty much got everything we needed off the donor car, at least to get the car driving over here, let's go and head back to our place and get this stuff installed. And now that we're finally back at my place, guys, it's finally time to remove this rear suspension and completely replace it. I'm hoping we're not gonna find any stress cracks or anything like that on the actual car itself because E36s and the each, like that chassis back in the day um, did have a lot of like frame cracking, just tearing, just where the weld points are. So hopefully when we take everything off, we're not gonna see that. But honestly, I'm having high hopes that once we actually get all this stuff dropped out, the wheel off and everything, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. We're gonna slap in that new rear subframe and we're gonna take this thing out for its first spin. So at this point, you guys are gonna be seeing me actually remove the whole like wheel assembly I'm trying to remove the caliper the brake rotor and all that kind of stuff um, to get to the brake line the e-brake line because we have to disconnect that to drop the rear end of the car so while I'm actually doing that my boiler line is actually disconnecting the drive shaft from the differential so we can drop it as well um, and while he's doing that we're actually gonna be disconnecting some exhaust things he's working in the front I'm working in the rear we're just trying to knock this thing out as soon as possible but everything is going a-ok -okay, which is a huge plus until we found uh, some janky stuff going on in the rear we saw some duct tape on the muffler um, we saw some like weird like straps holding it up to the rear sway bar. But before we actually install the new one, let's go ahead and hear this thing straight pipe. <laughs> like a Corvette dude it sounds crazy see yeah, guys it sounds so 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 good you guys can actually see it side by side over here one has a muffler one doesn't one's actually a muffler delete with the cats which is the exhaust we actually got off our donor car so this is a perfect exhaust for our car um before we actually installing the exhaust obviously we need to put in the new rear end and before putting in the new rear end uh Erlon really wanted to make sure it's perfect and clean everything he takes out of his cars he likes to make sure they're perfect before putting him back in and considering it's a low mileage rear end might as well make it super clean before actually putting it back into the car.
And now at this point, we got the rear end out, but we were so, so, so hungry. Before actually reinstalling the new rear end, uh, we went down to Chipotle because you guys know we got to get something to eat. We have to get something to eat. But yeah, after enjoying the amazing meal at Chipotle, we're going to go ahead and just reinstall the new rear subframe. So let's go ahead and get that thing installed so we can start ripping this 540. Alright guys, so everything is on to the car right now. You guys can see the wheel is on there, the exhaust is on there. Let's go ahead and get his first start up with uh, the full assembly. I mean, bro, do you think everything's gravy in the Navy now? Look at me. <laughs> That's actually after we wash his hands and everything too. You better start, bro. I'm catching on fire. Get insurance for me. <laughs> Sounds good. Woo. I think we need to get the. Alright, guys, let's get this last wheel on there and get it on the ground. I want to see this thing drive. Car is finally on the ground. I think you adjusted the coilovers as well, right? A little higher, yeah. A little higher. That's honestly, I like that a lot better. It's definitely not going to rub as well, so it's looking super good. Bro, we finally got the perfect rear end in the car. Lower mileage, too. So, uh, moment of truth, bro. Does it run? Does it drive? <laughs> let's get it. Bumper. Swear. Yeah. Swear. No, no way. Like Bro, you have to angle it on my truck. You guys see Oh, that? I got that. I got no. no, I got another one. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Bro, that donor car coming in clutch. Dude, that's Dude, crazy. Ah, it is what it is. You have to come in. Yeah, it's just so... It, it, this thing's super low. Imagine that was a cop. <laughs> Sounds crazy, dude. Imagine that was a cop that just went right oh by us, bro. I'm like, oh shit, I don't oh, know who that, that is. Bro, that, that, that was crazy. <laughs> bro, insane, dude. bro, I cannot believe that's on the road right now, dude. Yeah, wow. I'm happy for him, bro. I'm happy I we know. did this, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> two that's days, crazy. two days is back on the road. Two days back on the road. Quickest bro. rebuild ever. I know, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing about it too is that the the donor car they end up getting for it it has all the parts for him to like literally get that thing I perfect know. so that worked out but he's out he's out here enjoying where do you go bro that thing sounds so good yes sir <laughs> Hold on, hold on. So, is, is, so everything's running solid? Yeah, the steering's bro. smooth, bro, the drive yeah. shaft's smooth, everything's yeah, bro. smooth. Bro, it sounds That's like a, a true V8, bro. <laughs> that thing sounds so good. We also got retrofit, uh, retrofit heated seats in there. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Don't miss shift, John. Don't money shift. <laughs> that thing's actually fast, bro. Yeah, it sounds really good. Oh my god, That's bro! Oh my god, dude, that thing's crazy, bro. Bro, it's actually so nice. <laughs> bro, I wanna keep driving it. Isn't that crazy? Bro, bro the gas, there? bro, it's yeah, a V8. Like, bro, what the Alright, just go, go, go. It's a V8 manual, bro. Guys, that 540 sounded insane. That thing for the money is just absolutely insane. But speaking of money, I do want to talk about a little bit about the donor car we ended up picking up, which is the one at my boy's house, at Erlon's house, the blue one. Um, we ended up picking up that car for $700. We got $2,300 worth of parts on that car for our car. And then we actually are going to be selling, we already sold about $350 worth of stuff, but in total, we're estimated like easy sales, $1,245 worth of stuff 
from the $700 car. So we're actually making money off this donor car, about $600 roughly, and uh, we took about $2,300 worth of stuff off of this car to fix our car completely for free. So if you guys can get donor cars to fix your cars, honestly, that is the best way to go because honestly, we needed cats, we needed a rear end, we needed wheels, we needed an exhaust. The radio on ours was busted. All of our panels are dented. We have all new panels. It just really worked out for us. And this is something I did also with the E91 M3. As you guys know, I bought a donor car to build the M3 wagon. I just think that's the smartest way to do it. Otherwise, you're gonna be spending so, so, so much money. But yeah, this 540 was an absolute success. But unlike this car with the story, uh, this next car that no one really knows much about uh, is actually gonna be introduced in the next video. I'm gonna be talking more about that in the next video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.